Uh, yeah, I never really considered working with glass until I tried it on my undergraduate degree and then as soon as I started glass blowing it just it's something that really hooks you in. A lot of people try it and they get addicted which I think is kind of what happened to me. Uh, you have to use the heat and gravity and the way that it moves to to best sort of manipulate the shapes. It's, it's pretty exciting, like it's, it's really fun. It's just great when you can get two people together and yeah, pull that knowledge because sometimes you just, you aren't able to do something on your own. Uh, you, you don't have the resources and the time it would take you to figure those things out for yourself to even a basic level w w would just be prohibitive. So it's always best to kind of reach out and bring in the people that do know how to do these things. And then you can actually get on with the real, what you're really there to do, which is be creative and get results. I really like working in a collaborative sort of way and it was something that I've not really done very much of before. So it was a really good way of kind of finding new ways of working, so with somebody else who works with the different aspects of the material. So the organisation's focus being what it is, it's about links between organisations and the arts, and so connections and interactions were going to be a big part of it. When Vicky and I were, were paired together to collaborate on this, it was a really natural process from the very beginning because we both work in very different aspects of glass, and that isn't just difference in terms of the process, it's difference in terms of how you think about the way you make an object, how you approach the whole making process, and so our kind of thoughts and drive as artists and as makers are very different already. So just by having the two of us work on this, we knew we were going to get a nice meeting of two different aesthetics coming together. Just to work with somebody and bounce ideas off each other, I find it really uh, inspiring. But for a piece like this, it's very geometric, it's very crisp, it's very sharp and we kind of need accuracy and we need kind of clarity in the form. You know, Vicky with the blown glass is able to create very light open forms with a great sense of fluidity and movement and with the casting I have the opportunity to create very very precise and uh, exacting form. With the blown work that Vicky does every form is kind of spontaneous, there's a lot of dynamism in it so we straight away introduce that individuality through that element of the process. And with my aspect of it, with the, with the cast component, it was a chance to make something that was consistent and constant and tied the whole series together. We wanted to have, have it as a series of objects that would work together as well, so that they would all, if you had them out in, in a line, then it would bring in another aspect to to the whole design. That's been very, very rewarding to do that and to actually see that it's that it's worked well and that working with Vicky has led to being able to create these objects that I think we're both very happy with. <laughs>